Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope you're doing well. So a little bit of a lengthy video that I want to put together to try and help you in your research if you're looking for a docking station to have two monitors with your M1 uh, Mac. In my particular case, I have the original M1 MacBook Air. As you may or may not know that you can have one external display, but you can't have two unless you have some type of device. In my particular case, I'm using this pluggable dual HDMI USB universal docking station. Now, it is the UD3900Z. According to their YouTube channel and their website, it will work with Mac, even though it says Windows. You do need to install uh, some drivers. So when I got this, got it all set up, and I want to put this in clamshell mode. That was one of the things that I was in my research, I wanted something that would allow me to put this in clamshell mode. This original setup I wanted to have under my desk, but you'll see here in a little bit why it's set up this particular way. Now, a little background. I got it to work in terms of connecting the two monitors, as you can see in this static shot. I'm going to roll the video here in, in a minute. But then when I was testing out the restart in the clamshell, as you'll see in here, I was having problems. And then I contacted support. They, they responded, but didn't really help much there. And I did a little troubleshooting. I'll show you a couple of things that I tried here. And then it seemed to work. What I mean by that is when it was in clamshell, it would restart. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this little video clip here. So I've recorded this earlier. I'm doing a, a voiceover. But in the middle of the screen here, there is the actual pluggable docking station. Um, you know, pretty inconspicuous. It's got two USB 3.0 ports in the front. There's an audio jack in the front. And then behind, it's got... I don't have a picture of this thing here, but you got two HDMI inputs. It's got Ethernet. It's got four USB 2.0 and then a cable that comes right into your PC or computer. There is the actual uh, program that kind of lives on the menu bar there to kind of show you the settings. So I'm going to put this in clamshell mode just to kind of show you that does work. So as you can see here, the Mac is closed and I've got both monitors working fine, cursor, able to move the docking station, no issues there. So when I pop this back up, boom, works no problems here in terms of, you know, if you want three monitors, boom, it works great. So if you're just in this setting, this situation, hey, this is perfect, no issues. Now I've got my DJ controller there plugged into that, uh, to the pluggable device, and then I've actually got a, a micro SD card plugged into the back of it, and then a keyboard uh, as well too, and mouse. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this thing to sleep. And when I go to click on it, it actually uses my Apple watch to unlock. So, so far, great. No issues there uh, whatsoever. So then here's an odd thing that happens when this goes into screensaver mode. And I'm going to actually put it in right now manually. When I want to then wake it up, I get this message here that the Apple Watch is unable to unlock because my screen is being observed. Now, that's kind of raised some questions in the community. Is, are they tracking things that's not? It's just a weird quirk. So when it goes to sleep, no issues. But when I have the screensaver, so it's kind of bizarre. So again, clamshell mode. This is the idea. I want to have this thing underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. Let's say there was a software update. Uh, and I need to restart. If this is in clamshell mode, I want to be able to restart that, not have to open up the computer, and have my login screen. Now, here is where, in the recording, I'm actually just sitting waiting. Prior to this, yesterday or day before, I would be prompted with my login screen on one of these windows, and it was working as designed. I'm thinking this is kind of strange because it wasn't before. Now, here in this recording, as I'm doing this video for you, it's now not working. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. By now, I should have a login screen showing up on the monitor. Still nothing going on. So here in a little bit, I should open up the laptop to show that the login screen is now on the computer. By now, the, you know at the M1 Max, it shouldn't take this long for this to, to pop up. So this is kind of frustrating. If you've got your laptop under the desk, if you've got it in a docking station someplace vertically, then you've got to, it defeats the purpose. That's the idea of having clamshell. So here I open the lid. There's the login screen. It never showed up on the two monitors. Closing it again, seeing if it would pop up on the monitors, nothing. 
So this is a bit of a problem. This is not going to be a good use case to have to, if you have it on your desk, climb under there, open it back up. So I've got to manually log in with my password. And then the screens should pop up. Note there's a little bit of a delay there as they load because it's got to run the display link program. And you'll notice in the settings when you look at that, it says, you know, show after logging in. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, what's going on now? So let's just try and do, I think I'm going to do a shot. I can't remember what I'm going to do next here in this thing. Okay, I'm, I'm closing some in clamshell mode. And we're going to, I believe, do another restart or shutdown. I'm just basically trying a couple of things to see maybe if it's going to suddenly work or not. And I'm, I'm having the same results. Now, I went over to their website, and this was interesting, a Pluggables website. There is, let me come to, okay, so I found, I'll actually put a link to this in the description. But as of September 16th, there was an article by Pluggable, my docking station and connected devices are not detected when I restart my M1 Mac. And it says some user has re- reported that after installing Mac OS 11.1, and they list three different devices, none of which are mine. They have the UD3900 PDZ that the docking stations may not be correctly detected by Apple's MacBook Air. Okay, I'm back to this video. So here in this example, this is another thing that I ran into. Notice how I opened the lid and there was nothing showing. So I thought maybe I kind of opened it up a little bit too soon, you know. But oh, this is the M1 Mac. The login screen should be pretty snappy. This this is what happened first. Now when I open it back up, pops up fine, logs in. I think there's going to be another example where it actually kind of hangs up in a, in a minute. But back to the article that I was looking at. Uh, may not correctly be detected by Apple's MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini computers with the M1 processors after being restarted or when powered on after being turned off. And again, they're saying this issue affects the UD ULT CDL, UD ULT C4K, and UD3900 PDZ. Okay, back to the video. So now I'm going through something that I tried earlier where I basically remove, I thought maybe some of the other USB devices I had plugged in. So in this particular case, you saw I unplugged the DJ controller. I also unplugged, uh, I had something else plugged in behind there. There was another USB, oh, the, the MIDI keyboard right below. That was also plugged into that. So I, as a matter of fact, everything recognizes and, and works, by the way. So when you plug in a USB devices, it works okay. So I took all that. I also had an SD card. Yeah, that's the three things I had, this, the MIDI keyboard. So I took out the SD card. That's what you see laying there on the, the mouse pad there. And I thought, well, let's just try this. Maybe there was something, because I thought that's what the problem, even though support didn't say anything, I couldn't really, you know, you start doing troubleshooting as you're working through this stuff. And I thought maybe that was the issue. Maybe they were causing a hangup. And recognizing. So again, I have this in clamshell mode because the idea is, uh, I, you know, and, and especially if you want to use it this way, you want this to be able to work in this process. So that's what I was doing in, in, in this step of the video. But this article says that they're having issues with other devices. Now, it's interesting. They say in here, until Apple issues an update that resolves these USB detection issues, we recommend unplugging the docking station from the computer, then reconnecting it after macOS has completed loading. That, to me, is not a very good user experience. Because, again, if you're clamshell mode, there's a good chance you don't have it on the desk like I do here. You probably have it underneath the desk, maybe in a docking station, as I said, again, vertical to have stand up. That means you then have to open up the computer after a restart or a shutdown. Not that we should be doing a lot of shutdowns with these computers, but if there's a software update, you know, that's a little bit of a pain here. So again, I tried unplugging the devices. All I have now plugged into this this uh, docking station is a USB dongle for the mouse. I think it's the mouse or the keyboard, one of the two. And the HDMI monitors and the cable that comes. Now you'll notice too, as you see in the setup, I actually have plugged into the MacBook Air the original power supply that's going down into the wall. That was one of the things that I read is in their manual that you need to have this plugged into the actual power brick. You can't, it has to be plugged in, period, so you can't leave it unplugged. That I did verify that it does not work. So here I am quitting the display link, and I'm, I think I'm. this is where I'm now going to shut down. Oh, so I actually, okay, again, part of the troubleshooting, I power off 
the actual pluggable docking station, you know, again, part of your troubleshooting techniques and seeing maybe if this is an issue. So as you're watching this, again, I'm not saying don't get this device. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a setting. I do have the latest uh, operating system installed uh, on the Mac. I am not running Monterey uh, as of this time. So I am running Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1 at the time of this recording here, November 2nd, 2021. And I have the latest uh, drivers installed. It is Display Link Manager app version 1.5. So that is installed as well too. So again, I've got the docking station. I powered it off. I waited 15, 20 seconds or so. Plugged it back in. I think this is now where I actually shut down the MacBook. I could easily record this while I was doing this. Yes, I know it's kind of weird how I'm, I'm setting this up and Again, you you make your decision. Maybe it works better for you. Maybe this is more of a Windows thing and not having an issue. I don't know. The other thing, too, is if you have a device that is working for you without any issues, please let me know in the comments section below because I would love to try one of those out. Or if you are seeing this and you found a solution, same thing. Please comment down below what's working for you because this was 99 bucks. It was on sale. As other thing too, I did really didn't want to break the bank uh, in terms of getting something too pricey. But um, I, I, you know, long long run, I think I'm going to wind up leaving this above on the 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 desk. Anyway, so here I am logging back in. As you can tell, it didn't work with this even after I reset the device. So I haven't heard anything more back from support. They The last email they sent, uh, let me pull that up because I honestly didn't really look much <laughs> at it, to be honest with you, because as you realize, so the last question I got, um, if I'm using, oh, here's another thing too. Um, they, they asked me if I'm using File Vault on my Mac OS. If you do, may, may you please test it with it disabled. Now, here's the thing that I did try during my test. I didn't do it in this video. And I am not a fan of this. And I think once you hear this, I don't know that you would agree with this. But let's say that I'm, or what I actually did was I disabled my login. You know, so basically when I flip open the MacBook Air, it logs right in. It doesn't need my password, no touch ID. I'm not a fan of that. Because one, I mean, this is going to stay at home. But if I'm traveling, you know, if I could turn that off, to me, that's a big no-no to not have your Mac secured. So the fact that they're suggesting that I turn File Vault off, and I think this is also, it wasn't in the manual, but it's something that I tried. Because obviously it's the login screen that something's hanging up on here. So I did that, and it worked without issue. But that means my Mac is not secure, and I personally don't want to do that. And I hope that's not where support is going with this. But again, if that's something you're comfortable with, if you're... MacBook stays at home, you're, you're never traveling, then maybe it's not an issue and, and that's a workaround. But it's not a workaround that I'm comfortable trying. So I just thought I'd throw that out there in case you were wondering. But I really think it comes down to something, whether it's Apple, as they said in the article, is it something with the login screen? Is it something with Display Link? Is it this device? Is it only really for Windows? I don't know. And I'm going to keep it. Again, just because I can live with it, it's not something I'm going to be restarting and shutting down a lot. But it's a bit of annoyance that I didn't get it. Okay, here's the one where this is the thing that I got the hung up. See, when you when I pop this up, I'm thinking, hmm, this happened to me before. Why is it still loading? Notice the little arrow on the left-hand side, and it's just kind of stuck here. This is like, that was kind of a red flag. Like This isn't how this is supposed to load. Eventually, it will kind of, the bar will complete, and then I just, I'll just have just a black screen with the arrow, the cursor. And I'm kind of in a frozen state right now. This happened to me before. I'm like, what's going on? I'm waiting for the login screen. Then this is where I had to do a hard reboot. You know, you press the power button on the MacBook, and that's not how this is supposed to work. So I don't know. 
I'm I'm kind of out of uh, options, answers. I've I've tried everything I can think of. Um, I'm I'm not going to reinstall my operating system. I'm not. I, I've actually removed Display Link. I removed anything related to pluggable and reinstalled. I tried those, but I am not about to reinstall my operating system to go through that. Uh, to me, when you get to this point with a product and you have to go through all those steps. Uh, that's not a very good end user experience. So end of the day, you have to decide if this is something that you want. I'm not here to say this is a bad product. I'm not trying to say don't get it. Uh, I'll put in the title, watch this before you buy it. (laughs) But again, you need to make a decision if this is what you want to get. If you're in the market, just add this to your research. Uh, But again, if you have a display or docking station that has worked flawlessly for you with the M1 uh, Max, please let me know in the comment section below. Or again, if you are running into this and you have found solution, I've I've gone on the forum website for pluggable for display link. Uh, I, I can't seem to find any type of a resolution or workaround. So at this point, I'm gonna keep it It's not perfect. Again, this is going to stay on the desk. I'm okay with that. But it was a little disappointing that um, it it, it worked. I I wish I could have gotten the video for you. Uh, I'm serious. A couple days ago, it was working beautifully. I mean, I I was in clamshell mode, restarted, bam, no issues. But for some reason, um, it's not. So that's all I got. This is Wabbit. I hope this helped you out. Catch you next video. Be safe out there. Stay north of the dirt.